80 degrees out, April 29th. Really nice day out. I thought, why not do a little AC testing today? So I'm sure my batteries are charged up from uh, powering the fridge and a few little lights that I leave on overnight, hot water heater. So uh, I don't think that'll interfere with our tests. I'm sure the batteries are topped off 100%. So we're gonna get the temperature ambient on the inside. And then turn the AC on full blast, see how much power it draws, and uh, see how much temperature will drop. Solar panels, I uh, just want the best output possible. So dirty, dusty solar panels like this, who knows, they probably only put out 80% of what they possibly could. So I just wanna make it a fair test. So I'll just get that, dust that first layer off and uh, see what happens. Piece of cake. We're gonna check the battery status, check our temperatures. Turn the AC on. We're sitting at 100%. The sun is shining, so we got 93 degrees. 88 in the back. This one's a lot harder to see. There we go, 88. We're gonna test it with the door closed. It's a great day for power consumption to test. Uh, it's super sunny, 88 degrees is what this uh, temperature thermometer in the middle of the van shows. Uh, we're at 100%. All right, we're gonna turn you on. Let's go with auto 62. Let's see how long. Takes down to get down in the 70s. All right, we're just going to look at the graph of power consumption in watts. With 800 watts of solar, it's only drawing 90 watts so far. I can hear the compressor kicking on right now. And it's toasty in here, it's already blowing cold air. I lived in this van all of last year in Texas heat during the summer. West Texas, 115 degrees, and it was miserable. Lost a lot of sleep because I did not have an AC. All I had was a fan. Not even this nice fan, it's just a shitty fan. Miserable. That's why I'm so excited for this AC unit. All right, so it's on full blast right now, and I'm only drawing. Oh, just jump there. Did you see that? It's going between 60 and 120 watts. At the current rate, the last almost five days, that'll that'll surely drop here. Temp still 88, but uh, let's see if we can. AC has been running for two minutes. Temperature is down from 88 to 86. With solar, we're only drawing 25 watts. That is amazing. So I will turn my solar off to see actually how much it's drawing right now. My guess is, oh, I just heard it kick up a little bit. My guess is under 586. Power consumption, jump between 40 and 80. All right, I'm gonna turn some panels off and we'll see what it does. I'm gonna flip some breakers. Nothing too scientific here. All right, there's the rear panel is turned off and front panel turned off. 
and immediately you see that consumption jump to 520 watts. And even if I didn't have any solar, I could last for quite a while on 500 watts. I have a 300 amp hour lithium battery, and as this adjusts, uh, yeah, obviously it'll drop. I think it'll probably go to 500 watts. If I do the math, 80% down, uh, I think that's 240 amp hours usable. Maybe only 10 hours without any, any power off the grid. So again, no solar input. It's only drawing 520 watts. Down there, the bottom of the trough is 530. When I turned it off, turn the solar back on. Pretty consistent draw now. I love that. All right, now that we've left it on boost for about four minutes, we are going to... So we're seeing that it's staying pretty level power consumption wise at 176. I'm going to turn the panels off here and uh, look at the total consumption on boost. This is the most it'll, it'll ever draw. I got two banks, 400 in the back, 400 in the front. I just turned off a little breaker. Okay, now it's pulling just straight off the battery. 600 watts. Thirty minutes. Temps hovering around seventy-seven. They both actually kind of equalized here. And uh, power consumption is over one hundred and fifty. We're sitting at one hundred and seventy. So started at ninety-one degrees. Sunshine making this place real hot. Uh, we're at twenty-nine minutes. 28 minutes of running time, and it's lowered the temperature 15 degrees. It doesn't feel like it's going to drop a significant more. Maybe if I let it run for a while. But again, it's full blast on boost. It feels cool where I'm at right here, but uh, I guess the, the entire temperature of the van is still a little bit higher here. Watch. If I just hold this right here. A very comfortable 70 something. So I am still two feet away from the unit. So I guess I'll keep dropping the temperature in here. It's interesting that it, the AC doesn't blow that much colder than what it's actually set at. That is very intriguing. Right here under the unit, 64 degrees. Last a long time with a decent amount of sun. Pretty power efficient. These are the troughs when the solar was off. All right, there's your 30 minutes. Alright, it's officially been 55 minutes since I turned the attic on. Uh, it was reading anywhere from 89 to 91. That was with the sunshine in the sun. We put the insulated barrier down. Um, the sun's still cooking in the cab up there. But uh, 
this thing has dropped the temperature quite a bit. So it was 91. Check this out. We are down to 75. Both of these are green with each other fairly close. They were a few, few degrees off earlier. Um, it cook, kicked from boost down to auto on its own. Not quite sure what the programming is there, but with my solar offset, I'm only drawing 110 watts. Look at this. Um, we're coming up on an hour and I've used less than 5% battery. That is phenomenal. It kind of jumps around because it doesn't save your data unless you have the app open the whole time. So if you answer a text or a call, uh, it doesn't. That's my only gripe with Victron. This smart 712 monitor. Smart. You have to buy like a $300 servo if you want to keep your data logging while you're not logged into the app. A little bit louder outside than it is inside. Boy, everything is working great. Let me know what other tests you guys would like me to run.